Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Record of Aggress War in the last episode. We arrived in Merchant City Tagia and we found out Vashdor has betrayed us. He has captured Ellis and he's fled. So now we are giving chase to go and recapture Ellis because, well, Ellis is part of our is part of our team and she's very important to us. And we need to go rescue her. But the first thing we need to go through is Danakil Greatfin. This is the one area we need to trudge through first before we even get anywhere close to Ellis. Um, but anyways, I'm going to be doing all the re all this dungeon post commentary, so I will see you guys when we get into the area after we get out of this. So I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, welcome to Danakil Greatfin. Now. This level here is kind of like riddled with with a bunch of items here, and I'm I am going to grab all these. Now, um, one thing in particular I need to really mention about this level here: we got no bracelet. And one thing I really need to say about this level is this is the perfect grinding spot for something called soul suckers. Soul suckers are a type of scythe that, um, well. One thing in particular about it is, if you get it, you can convert it into a magic plus 400. Uh, I mentioned that probably about a, a few episodes ago, There, I got a soul sucker from Ryu Ryu. She, I think she came with a soul sucker, if I remember correctly. Uh, soul suckers are rare drops from an enemy called an Ice Knight. An Ice Knights dwindle here. This is an actually a good place to farm for this stuff, so I would really advise getting that. So, and we got an advanced weapons five book, so now we have more smithing material. Um, but if you can have uh, people like Winfield, Winfield is actually one thing I didn't really mention now that I actually can do a lot now is uh, Winfield. His EX skill, his like level one EX skill, that he gets when he gets 50 SP, is called Hold Shot. Hold Shot has a chance to EX steal, which means that means that it takes it takes an item from the rare drop pool of an enemy. And if you have Winfield and you use that move, you have a chance of getting a rare drop. And I'd really advise doing this later if you're trying to do all the titles. Because there's a, there's a title in there to getting all the weapons and stuff like that. But anyways, we got a Bardichi. A Bardichi is a, another weapon we'll be needing later for conversions and stuff like that. If you're going for all the titles in this game, I really would advise going doing so. And we got Dark Ray. Dark Ray is a very good move. We actually need that for a lot of things. And um, anyways, uh, Soul Suckers are rare drops from Ice Knights, which are enemies that dwindle here. So I would really advise doing so if you need if you really need to massively farm for the the magic plus 400s. Um, there's going to be a spot later too that will have um, where you can capture monsters and then trade them in the monster guild, and they'll have magic plus 900s. But if you're really lacking at this point and you really need your magic user to be using a lot of magic. Do this. This won't take very long, and if you go in here, you won't be wasting a turn. Um, one thing about the about this game is it's you can't go past certain turns if you're going for true end. If you're in this area, I would really advise doing so. You get a, we got a luck up plus one from that chest. But if you're going for true end and you want to help uh, farm for magic plus four hundreds, go in here because once you go in a quest area, you do not use up a turn. Uh, I think that's different for other versions of this game, but I know the American version, you do not use up a turn if you if you go into this area. So if you're really wanting to mag get the magic plus 400s, I would advise going in here. And we got see another Secret Arts book in this area, so that's good. But yeah, just just grind here if you re uh, farm here, I should say, grind here, farm here, it's the same thing. Well, grinding is levels, farming is getting items. <laughs> <laughs> do both! Do both! If your characters are lacking, do both. That's really all I can say. That's one thing I was... I don't really show off the Ice Knights because I do cut off all the battles here, but... 
I would really advise doing so if you're really lacking in the magic department. You really need your magic user to use a lot of magic. But now we're closing in to, onto the ending of the identical Great Fend area. Um, it seemed like I really... As after I cut this down, because this was actually like 15 minutes of footage, most of that being battles, and since I cut out all the battles, well... <laughs> it kind of like dropped it down to like 5 minutes here. And we got accessories 2-1, so now we can um, smith more accessories. So, there we go. And now... We're on to the live portion, so I'll see you guys in a second. Well, well, more trouble, it seems. He may be involved in this as well. I feel a certain darkness. We are not returning, are we? No. We go now to save Ellis. Any who would dare stand against us will receive only swift death. There is something I must know as well, and a sad story I must bring to an end. There may well be stories brought to an end when we are through. Indeed. An eye for an eye, and a foot for a foot. Perhaps not the idiom as it is usually said, but the intent remains the same. We are not ourselves this day. You are in the wrong place, and at the wrong time. You will not move, then you will die. It looks like we're fighting a boss, folks. Uh, I'm sorry about that <laughs> little intermission there. I know. I, I I just figured it'd be easier to edit that way for me, at least. And at least I can keep the commentary flowing <laughs> for the most part. But now we are fighting a boss. We this boss is actually, if I remember, I think this is a mistress. It's called a mist dragon. I believe. Let me see if I'm, if I'm right. Right. Yep, that's a mist dragon, level 68. He has. Resolve, which is increases your SP getting each turn. Float, which means all earth element attacks will miss. Anger, which will increase your physical damage if you have over 200 SP. And Desperate Strength, which in increases physical damage and defense when it is less than 25% of his max HP. He is really not to be, to be messed around with. He's also got Tail Swing, Howl, Breath of Ice. Tail Swing is not is not good. I don't like Tail Swing. Uh, but yeah, like that's pretty much his move set. Now, when you come on to like low, uh, higher level monsters and stuff like that, you will be seeing a lot of monsters actually have like certain skills that you need to combine skills to make all in one skill, so he could just use it. If you gotta catch my drift there. But that's this is because it's late game. That's why it's mostly late game because of that. And I'm pretty hurt, and I didn't even realize it. Uh, okay, I need to move Gladius here so I can connect to Thoma. Darren, I need to move it there. Sylvie's fine so where she's at. There we go. And Leo, let's move up in front of there. Now I might wait one turn in order to see if I can overkill this guy. I might wait one turn. I think the only turn I'm going to do is I'm going to heal Mr. Mr. Darren. Mr. Darren. Healing your ass. There we go. That should be enough for his health. There we go. I think I'm just going to save my, my, my uh, AP for one turn. See how much SP I can gain from this. Power burst. This is going to hurt. And there's a lot of lag, and I think it's because whenever I'm in this, um, whenever I'm in the fin areas, when I'm in the fin areas, it's going to hurt. And as you can see, the earthquake is actually missing Sylvie. The reason why is because Sylvie has an ability called Float, which is the same ability this dragon has. As you see, all the earth damage is not hitting her.
but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Now, I didn't really mention as much, and holy crap, I didn't get very much SP out of that. You know what? Let me let me change that. Let me heal myself. I need to get new skills for these guys. And now they are kind of higher level. They need it. Go ahead and heal again. Just spend this turn healing from the damage that this guy did. Sylvie didn't get any damage done to her. Let's go ahead and just use it to heal Mr. Durin. There we go. And I'm going to go heal Lagus. There we go. To kind of gain everybody's SP up a little bit. Just, just save it. And I think everybody is almost connected. Except Durin here. Durin's not connected. But there we go. Need Sylvie. Sylvie, my lady. You need to go in. There we go. There we go. Now, let's see. I think everybody's faster than this dragon. No, everybody except Sylvie is faster than this dragon. Okay, now, I don't have enough SP, but I have a lot of AP, so I might go ahead and try this. Power burst. Burst hit. I do another power attack. I have another burst. No, I don't have another burst hit. Wait, nope. I need a meteor impact, though. Do I have a meteor impact? Yes, I do. Gore crush. There we go. Now, double attack. I might go ahead and combine and make that. Now, Sylvie can make her own execution here. Uh, Scar cross cross hit. There we go. Hmm. Another quadruple attack. And then I'm just gonna start throwing stuff on there that doesn't really matter. Okay, to, to kind of spice it up a little bit. Uh, Eason. Sonic Wave. Rush. And I think that's it. Alright, let her rip! We'll be seeing a lot of these guys in the wild later, especially um, the next generation. The next generation, these guys are going to become a common enemy, so if it really comes down to it, it doesn't really matter if I don't overkill this guy. I might actually end up doing so. It doesn't matter. It looks like I'm doing a lot of damage. So. It looks like I'm doing a lot of damage. Doing. So I think I might just end up overkill just because. I'm so used to playing hard. The reason why is because I've been I recently been doing a playthrough on hard so I can unlock all the stuff which I can show off in this LP. And <laughs> well, I've been expecting the enemies to be doing a lot more damage than they have been doing and well, I'm not used to this and I really and I'm starting to regret my decision back on episode 1 of choosing easy mode <laughs> for this playthrough. Be perfectly honest, I should have chosen hard. Oh well, it's not a big deal, to be perfectly honest. I can still, I'll still end up showing the stuff you get for hard later on, which is not a really big deal at all. I'm not going to be upset about it. Whoosh, whoosh, deuce, 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 deuce. But yeah, there we go, we overkilled the mist dragon. Wapak, wapak. Wapak, wapak. I'm going to wapak, wapak you. Power burst. Wapak. Pack. It's kind of lagging. I know, I've been noticing, especially with the fin areas, like the swampish areas, it's it's always laggy with the environment. I always notice that too. Avoid shock. Rush. I really need to equip more better stuff. For them. I might do that off screen whenever we're into the next generation. I need to equip better equipment for my guys with the special skin. 
I think it's mostly skills I need to equip with. But anyways, we took it down the Mist Dragon, we got a Sumberland Flower, and we got a Strength Up Plus. So, okay, so you really do need to overkill it, because you don't normally get that. There we go. 120%. Everybody's gonna be leveling up at least... Well, not everybody. Not everybody. Now let's go ahead and increase our stats here. There we go. What is it you want from me? Alice is all tied up. Be silent. You will not. You will. You will feel not be. You will not be a feast for the orcs and goblins. Your sacrifice will be set, will set free the power of the bracelet. I am charged. 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 Yeah. I am charged with care of you. If there is anything you require, you have but to ask. Bashed orc. Just let her go, then. I was just asked at that point. I was like, well, can you let me go? <laughs> Bastor, were you one of the Gurg? One of, perhaps, in a way. Was everything you told us a lie? Could you have done this any time? Why now? We were all relying on you. How could you do this to us? An honorable sentiment. That is nothing more than your deluded imagination. In your mind, you chose you, you chose for me a form that suited you. But I have always been what I am now. An agent of darkness. Very soon, an agent of my lord will arrive. Use wisely the time that remains to you. Do you recall your promise? I was the one who allowed your escape, and it is I who told you where to find the scouts. Can you not trust me? Well, how can you? You just easily broke our trust! Jerk. Of course not. You are a surprise, surprising child indeed. A traitor must have gall to say such things. Our situations are the same, you and I. Hi! The same as you? You are a fool and a coward, but an amusing one. How am I amusing? If your worries are for her, they needn't be. As you keep your promise to my lord, so, so shall I keep mine to you. It's far too late to turn back. I have no choice but to be ready. You are correct. Then I leave this place to you. Should you, tr should any try to interfere with our prisoner, mercy is what they deserve. Was not what they deserve. You, of course, are included in this. Leave her be, or suffer. You have no reason to interfere. I. Have eyes only for the Harpuya? Well, do I know this? And it is why I leave you here with confidence. Sylvie is her name, yes? With exemplary service to my lord, she will be yours. So it seems like Keith's only reason why he decided to side with the forces of darkness is because he wants Sylvie. <sighs> Things people do for love, I swear. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. So in the next episode of Let's Play Record of Records War, we are going to head up to Arapugas, which is that where that event is. So I will see you guys in the next episode.